I'm standing in front of the building where, in only a few hours' time, what is being described as the trial of the century will begin, and the eyes of the world will fall upon Adolf Eichmann, the Nazi responsible for organizing the mass murder of six million European Jews. It isn't only Eichmann who will be on trial over the next few days and weeks. The state of Israel will also be under intense scrutiny as it attempts to mount a fair trial of the man tasked with destroying the Jewish people. This city, this country, the entire world is under a state of heightened anticipation. The stakes could not be higher. In televising this trial, the state of Israel hopes to show many of its own people across the world the full horror of what befell those of their faith who lived in Europe through the Nazi era. Israel hopes to impart to a new generation an understanding of the cunning cruelty employed by the Nazis to lure their people to their deaths through the lie they were being sent to work camps. And it is also seeking to impress on the consciousness of humanity that these crimes, which have no precedent in the entire history of man on earth, were committed in an enlightened age, on Jews this time, but could be committed against others in the future, to show the world that, in the end, this is a crime that affects every one of us. Gentlemen, this is it. Moment of truth. What are you thinking at this precise moment? Hmm? Oh, of everything that could go wrong?